Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here. You know, I have to be honest with you guys. I don't think I'll ever truly understand the mind of a Christian fundamentalist. Because when it comes to what they do in society, they really cause a lot of harm, especially when it comes to the LGBT community and marriage equality. They don't want to see any of these things come to fruition because their religious beliefs are actually the things that are causing significant problems in society as we know it. Yet these Christian fundamentalists are in constant denial, saying that they're not the problems and that they're actually the cure to what's going on in society. And every time I hear these excuses come out of their mouths, I have to laugh. But not only do I laugh, I feel more disappointed. Because these Christian fundamentalists don't have any passion for their fellow human beings. They don't have anything for that matter. And the more that I hear the poison that spews out of their mouth, the more angry I get. Because it's highly unnecessary for these individuals to do what they are doing. To shed a little bit of light on this particular subject, I'm going to read a part of this article to you guys. That is a prime example of a Christian fundamentalist spreading nonsense trying to stop marriage equality, trying to stop gay and lesbian couples from getting married, or in this particular situation, trying to stop uh, you know, gay and lesbian marriages from being recognized in her state because she thinks that they're so horrible. Tallahassee, Florida. The Attorney General of Florida says in court documents that recognizing same-sex marriages performed in other states would disrupt existing marriage laws and impose significant public harm. According to her, gay and lesbian couples will cause a significant amount of harm in society. That their marriages are a threat. That if they recognize same-sex marriage in Florida, it would cause a significant amount of harm in their laws that they have created. And in all honesty, I don't see the truth in what she speaks. She doesn't have a platform to stand on. She doesn't have anything to stand on in any way, shape, or form when she talks of this nonsense. This lady seems to enjoy spreading her misinformation and she obviously doesn't have a problem doing it. She's obviously misinformed and ignorant to what is truly going on in society. Eight gay couples and the American Civil Liberties Union sued the state in federal court in March. The lawsuit argues Florida is discriminating against the couples by not recognizing same-sex marriage performed in states where they are legal. And to be honest with you, I think that this particular Republican and the circles that she runs in aren't discriminating against gay and lesbian couples as far as marriage is concerned. These people again think that it's necessary to treat gay and lesbian couples like trash to treat the LGBT community as if they were subhumans. I have said this in previous videos where I am completely against what Christian fundamentalists do because what they do is highly unnecessary and it causes a lot of problems. Attorney General Pam Bondi is the woman that I'm talking about, the Attorney General that is causing all of these issues. A Republican who was named in the lawsuit along with fellow GOP Governor Rick Scott and other state officials earlier this month filed a lengthy response that asked a federal judge to throw out the lawsuit for several reasons, saying a federal court shouldn't rule in a state's marriage laws. While the answer to have to this particular situation is if the federal court sees a bunch of problems that you are causing, Miss Pam, of course they're probably going to intervene if they see something that isn't right, if they see something that is posing a significant threat or a significant problem. Of course they're going to react. Sooner or later you're going to have to come to the realization that same-sex marriage is going to be legal everywhere. And to be honest with you, I don't see how a gay marriage or a lesbian marriage has any kind of effect on your life. If you don't like seeing a gay couple or a lesbian couple, just simply turn the other way. Walk away from it. Nobody is sitting there making you watch them. Nobody is sitting there making you talk to them. And to be honest with you, no one is sitting there forcing anything down your throat like you sit here and claim what's going on. You claim that people are 
shoving this stuff down your throat. They're not. Plain and simple. And you need to realize that. And to be honest with you, I don't see why you're going around saying that, you know, gay couples are so unstable when you yourself have been divorced three times. Obviously, your marriages were so unstable. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been divorced three times. And I honestly think that same-sex couples are far more stable in many ways. And that really shows what kind of people they really are. Because you get people like you who literally have no compassion for any fellow human beings. And it causes a lot of problems within your own family. Which is why you were divorced so many times. And it causes a lot of problems in society. A lot of people are going to see what you are truly like. And a lot of people are going to stand against you. And rightfully so. So really, it doesn't really help to, you know, see you think that you're this big authority figure. That you're this person that ultimately decides what's going to happen. Because all you are is a movie of the week. You're a teacher at best. And what you say has no value in any way, shape, or form. Sooner or later, like I said, gay and lesbian couples are going to be able to get married in every state because it's your religion that holds society back and sooner or later it is going to stop whether you like it or not